Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today to show you a new digi. Um, this is called Reason for the Season Volume 2, because I did a Reason for the Season um, last year as well. So, um, we did another one. So this is the first page. The angels. There's this one. And then we'll, we'll play with them a little bit once we're done going through it. I really like the way this came out. It was fun. And then there's some background pages of just the lace and like music and all that. This one's just words and lace. Not sure which direction this one goes. Can't really tell. I guess it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> and some music paper. And then there's just a page with some roses. And these are the same roses that are in the first reason for the season. So if you have that one, you know, you can mix the two uh, kits together. Obviously, I guess that's why I call them volume. Well, I didn't call the first one any volume, but this is volume two, so. And then that's the roses again with some lace over them. And then there's three pages of ephemera. And I would, I didn't uh, tell it to shrink to fit when I printed it, so this one got cut off a little bit. But if you um, have it print at 8 by 10 or um, shrink to fit, whatever, however your printer works, just to shrink it down a little bit, then you won't lose your edges. There's two large angels. You could also print them 5 by 7 or something if you want them smaller. <clears throat> and then there's some large pieces here as well. All right. So I thought what we could do today is make like a um, an envelope journal. And I have these really nice large um, envelopes from my friend Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts and they are avocado dyed. And since they're, um, they've been dyed, the stick sticky part of the envelope came undone. So you can open them up all the way and I haven't decided if I want to close them. I think I'll close it for sure for the cover but I might leave this one so that you can open it and then I'll just cut these little tabs off because I'd be kind of a, you could have a little extra writing space that way so I think that's how I'll go ahead and do it. So this one I'll close <clears throat> and we'll cover it a bit along here or something so that you know you don't see that and then I'll probably cut it at this end to open it again um, just because that's you know easier than trying to get things in when the journal is sewn together right there and this uh, won't be a huge journal because it's just an envelope you know for the cover but these are nice um, little journals to make like for gifts or something like that just going to basically put glue where there was glue. hope you guys are having a good day. Everybody's healthy and safe and all that good stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention this is an 18 page uh, digital download. So just go over to my Etsy shop and all my digital downloads are there. Now I'm going to hook these two together. I think I'll cut these um, little tab things off first. That, that will open up. If I can get it in here. This is my old, my little tiny guillotine, and I've had it forever and ever and ever. Creative memories. I'm sure, um, lots of you, if you made scrapbooks, got into creative memories at some point. I loved their tools. I really mostly just bought their tools because um, they're really a nice quality. I 
And like I said, I've had this for probably well over 20 years. And it still works great, so. Just can't fit a whole piece of paper in there, that's the problem <laughs> with it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is glue one of these to the other one. I guess what I could do is just glue that flap down too. Or do I want it inside? Maybe I'll just go with that inside and I'll glue this flap down. And a lot of this will get covered. Like I'll leave edges and stuff because of the pretty um, pink coloring, but uh, a lot of it will get covered up. But it's a great color to go with these um, Reason for the Season pages. And you can do this with any size envelopes. You don't have to just use big envelopes. You could do it with smaller envelopes and just make, you know, like a mini journal or something. <clears throat> This will still open out, which is nice. Probably should have put the glue on this one first, but I had to see if I liked it <laughs> that way. <laughs> and I guess I don't want to put the glue down on that. How do I want to do this? Do I want to do it on the outside and just close that envelope up? I think I might just do that. Don't really need it right here. It would. It's not going to hurt it to have a little bit there, but it just might close up your um, envelope more than you wanted. So yeah, I think I will just do it this way, and then we can cover that. But that's kind of a good way to seal that up. I usually always tuck them inside when I do these type of journals. I think it was clock on something. And then sometimes you have to come back in because they're not totally square, like, you know, everything in the world. Um, because they're just meant for mailing cards in. They're not really meant for making things like this out of it. Just we do that. So, okay, so that's going to be my front. I will open this pocket back up. You could leave it closed if you wanted to. You could put something else inside of there before you glue it all closed um, to help strengthen it, like a piece of um, cardboard or something, if you wanted it to be a stronger cover. But like I said, I'm not going to make a huge journal out of this, so. And that one's going to stick out a tiny bit, but I think it's okay. I don't want to cut that other end because that'll cut off that back flat. You could fold it, I guess, in a little bit more. That might work. I've made stuff like this, just not exactly so. Like I can come in a little bit more. And that will help equal up those two ends. No, that one's a little more. <laughs> shake the whole camera when I shake the table. All right, so that's what we'll have. And so we can start, you know, figuring out how we want the cover and whatever. Um, so what I want on the cover. So maybe I'll go for some of the background pages first. I might use one of those big angels for the cover. I thought I had the one with the... Okay, 
get it in the behind here? <laughs> no, I saw it. Oh, it's right there. Like, I know I had the one with the Christmas music on it. And these are pretty big envelopes. Same measure. Nine by almost six. So, yeah, they're almost the size of a journal, you know, that I would normally make. So, I think what I will end up doing is collaging probably the front of this. So, yeah, I hope you're all well and starting to get ready for the holidays as, you know, as well as you can with all the crazy stuff going on. Actually, I think I want that part. You know, a lot of people aren't going to be able to do a whole lot for Christmas either, just like Thanksgiving, which is a bummer. But I understand people not wanting to, you know, maybe be around grandkids or whatever because of the COVID. That's really hard. I mean, Thanksgiving is a little bit easier, I think. I wouldn't have as much trouble... not being able to do that one with family as Christmas. Especially if you've always, always, always been with them. Okay. Still more over on this side here. a little bit off of there because it was still coming over a lot further than everything else. Hmm. All right. Let's see what else should we put with that. I'll probably print on the other side of some of these. That one, or I think I want the one with the bigger angels. I think I'll put a piece of this at the bottom. And like I said, you know, you could use any size envelope to make these. Oh my goodness. I just need a piece of this to go on the bottom part. I don't really want them, the tops off, you know, already. So I think I'll do that. Yeah, I know it seems like such a waste to cover up the, the pink, but I will leave some of it. It's just, you know, if you're just, if you leave it the way it is, that's not very exciting. Okay, let's ink those. We don't have a whole lot going on around here. The kids just doing homework there and went to get milk. Because <laughs> I went to the store this morning and forgot milk because that's what I do. Keep tingling. Too busy trying to find all the other stuff on my list.
And I like to go early. Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh, well, that's not going to matter. It's going to get covered anyway. It's like I didn't even tear the bottom part. But it already wasn't long enough, so... Oh, um, Carol Laws just did a couple of journals using my um, Winter Wonder and my Blue Winter Digis. Oh my gosh, there's a hair on I think it's a cat hair, Jewel's hair. Um, she did two journals using those two Digis and... You guys should go check it out if, if you haven't seen it already, which I'm sure a lot of you already watch her channel. She does lots of cool journals, but I will put a link in the description box below to her channel. She does such beautiful journals. So definitely go over and check those out. And she's also on Instagram. You can find her both places. So, yeah. I haven't had a chance to watch the video yet because for me this is um, Tuesday and she just put those video that video out. So, But I did see the pictures on Instagram. And Dee Dee's been working on all kinds of stuff using some of my digi, she's such a sweetheart, and she also does beautiful work. And Allie just finished a couple of journals, Christmas journals, and used her digital and mine, so that was very nice of her to do that. Love all you ladies, you're amazing. have to do that at least once every video it seems like get the uh, glue on the outside of it okay, so I'm gonna cut I need to decide I think I want that one so sorry I didn't have these cut out but um, you know I wanted to show them before I did that so you knew what you were getting but you can fast forward if you can't can't stand it. Lovely angels. Did you get it? Was it crazy? No. Oh, Everyone's staring at me. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just feel like that one that alone. They probably weren't. You just felt like that because you're usually with people. Sorry, no, this is time consuming. Maybe I'll pause for a minute and I'll finish and then I'll come back. Alright, I got her cut out and I grabbed some lace and some tool. So I think I'll use some of that. Because it looks light and airy.
got a string on there. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? I just like to have something, you know, on there with them. I like this, how it says, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, though. That's a good I want to keep that. And then I wonder if there's anything else we want to put on there. Probably should check what other ones of those I have first. Oh, and I left this open the whole time, so it's probably going to work real good. So let's see. We're just going to kind of put some blue all over underneath here. It comes down here. Just to grab a hold of that. I think that I will let the liquid glue catch that I put on this. The only thing I don't like is that shininess, and sometimes you can still see that when that glue dries, which is not great. But it usually does hold pretty darn good, that um, Scotch Create glue stick. It's my favorite. I know right about the middle she'll be staying there, so we'll put a little extra to catch the tool. Don't get glued, I'll just tack down with that. A little bit extra. Under there. good because I put that other glue under there. Okay, that is good. And let's see if we have a rose or something to put on there. Because Nora sent me all these Awesome shabby flowers. I don't want a dark pink is the only thing. I prefer to have a lighter one. I don't know if I have one. Maybe the white. Mm, this just might be too big. I was thinking they'd work, but I have the little white pink ones. Those ones are from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I think that's just all too big. I 
love these things. They're great. You get them um, over where the fabric is in Hobby Lobby. If you're if you're wondering. I think I put those roses on upside down on the bottom. <laughs> Brain. Yeah, I think I like that. I'll go with that. our cover and that took us a really long time or me <laughs> so let's see okay now we need to figure out how we want to do this so we know this is a pocket so we can kind of cover these in some pieces so let's see just really kind of want to cover up the parts that make it obviously an envelope, you know. Using my collage touch because I haven't been collaging a whole lot. I did do a couple last night, but because I'm working on some journals for someone and um, needed to have some collage tags. But yeah, you cannot lose it when you don't do it very often. Probably won't put a pocket on this front cover page because we're gonna. Uh, this whole section is a pocket basically, and I don't want it to get too crazy thick because it is just envelopes. So. I'll have to figure out what kind of pages I want to put in it. you guys the little flip journals I've been working on it's just I, like I said before I started them I don't didn't want to do a whole nother set of videos doing those because I've already done um, those with you guys before so I don't want it to get boring although you're all very very kind and say you don't get bored but I think it would get boring to watch the same thing all the time Plus, we got to get the ideas out there for those Christmas gifts, right? This one may end up being a Christmas gift, too. So I definitely want a good border of the pink because I do want to see it. I 
I'll probably leave quite a bit of this that you can see. Globe somewhere. <laughs> nice. Use an image maybe on that one. Roses, though. I don't know if that would work. That's going better with the, the colors and everything. No, I'll probably mess it up. I don't need all of this. I made that really crooked. Like usual. These, will be, these are a little bit like those flip books as far as, you know, it's not going to be a, I mean, you can put quite a few more pages than those. I just put like five or six in those, um, but, you know, it's probably not going to be a whole lot more than like 15 pages, but they'll be, you know, full size sheets, which is kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about cutting images off and stuff like that. Use some avocado dyed paper in this one too. Be pretty. That won't get covered up. <laughs> okay. So I think here it'd be cool to have this as a writing spot. So we could just put something on there, you know, that we can write on. Yeah. You know, I'm going to try to rip a little straighter here since this is kind of going to be the, the focal point of that spot. Let's get a little bit off of here just to have the torn edge all the way around. Up on there. Oh, Take a tiny bit. Okay, 
that is not straight. And I know this is going to look a little weird because I'm rounding the corners, but I don't want them square. Sorry about that. I have my sound off, but for that um, notification, because it's from Etsy, it's kind of noisy. And then we'll probably do the in same thing on the inside. You could add um, more pockets and stuff, and I may end up doing that as I decorate it, but we're just going to go with this for now. Sorry, the sun's starting to come in here now. Real weird angle. Um, let me see if I can fix that. I put my book cradles <laughs> in the way, and that usually helps if I put something in them. Still a little bit on my sleeve, but at least it's not directly on the journal. I mean, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's making so much noise. <laughs> okay. And did I get that really crooked? I really kind of did, didn't I? Okay, let me try that again. It's always tricky with. Um, Things like this, especially because like my paper's not probably completely straight, and this isn't completely straight. So hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, I like that. And then we can do another one in here. Hope you guys are making something fun. I know a lot of you said you're gonna try some of the envelope things and pockets and things that I've been making. Having too much fun with those ones from Carry the Crafter. I just keep thinking of new ways to do them. I mean, somebody else could have also, but kind of feels like we've all done everything there is to do, but then every once in a while something pops up that's new, so. It's hard to come up with a new idea, I guess is what I'm saying. But it was new to me, so <laughs> I guess that's all that matters, right?
trying to get it straight and in the center as much as possible here. It's hard to see. I think that's about right. Yeah, that's nice. Then you can right on there. And maybe what we'll do for this other part. just take you know this side that way it's a little bit decorated but you could still write on there and I think with a, a black pen or something so how wide was that one take a little bit more just gonna take some off of this side Light is shining weird on this. We <laughs> were making this yesterday, and my son was like, Oh my gosh, that baby is huge. <laughs> that she's carrying. It's funny when you look at old art, um, especially like for the church and all that, a lot of times the scale is odd. Like, I don't know. And it, it's the time period is what it is, but it's kind of funny when you look at it now because we just have a different idea of what it should look like. Because some of them you see the babies look like literally miniature humans. They're like, or you know, they are humans, but you know what I mean? Like, um, Miniature adults is what I'm trying to say. This one at least looks a little bit more like a baby. They're beautiful images though. Take a little bit more off. This is a smaller um, area than that other one, which obviously makes sense. So I have to round those corners again. It just wasn't fitting right. I didn't shake that off, so now I'm going to have a piece of the paper in my bucket. like right up in your grill. So yeah, you saw me checking along here. I always check on these um, because sometimes wherever I hold it or, you know, by the time you get to the other side or whatever, spots of the glue stick get a little dry and so you might have some lifting, but just go back and check them to see if they need more glue. 
So yeah, so that's our cover. And I think that we will stop there. I hope you guys like the, the digi. I really like how it turned out. I think it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to have to tack that down a little bit more. Trim a little bit off would probably be better. I like how it's kind of flowy and just there, but it's a little, a little much. And I don't want to see the glue, so... All right, so that I think is a video. I hope you guys have an awesome evening with your families and friends and whoever you hang out with or with your pets. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for all your support and kindness. I do so, so, so appreciate you guys. So have an awesome evening and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye now.